Here's a read aloud of the book Time for a Bath by Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. Do you like taking baths? Enjoyable or not, baths are important because they keep us clean. Many animals also take baths to keep themselves clean. But some animals bathe for other reasons. They may be trying to cool off, warm up, or get rid of parasites. Some take dust baths or wallow in the mud. Others shower in the rain or splash in a puddle. There are creatures that bathe with their tongues or feet. Strangest of all is the ant bath, something you probably don't want to try yourself. Ah! Most tigers live where the climate is warm. These big cats cool off by taking a long soak in a lake or a river. The rhinoceros doesn't get clean when it takes a bath, but wallowing in mud cools the rhino, and dry mud protects its surprisingly sensitive skin from sunburn and insect bites. I'm all dirty. Can I get out now? says the rhino. The emu also enjoys a mud bath. Afterward, as it shakes off the mud, this big bird gets rid of the parasites that live in its feathers. The emu says, Stand back! Solar power! Spreading its feathers wide, this vulture takes a sun bath. The sun's warmth feels good, and the sunlight helps kill bacteria, which is important for a bird that feeds on dead animals. The ants are saying, you missed a spot. Some ants keep clean by scrubbing each other with feet that have been dipped in the ant's oily saliva. Take an ant bath. The pangolin, an armored mammal, sits on an ant nest. It lifts its scales and the ant crawls beneath them, eating debris that has become trapped there. Then the pangolin lowers its scales, crushing the ants. Finally, it takes to the water and the bodies of the insects are washed away. Japanese macaques, or snow monkeys, live in the mountains of Japan. It is cold there during the winter, and the snow monkeys keep warm by soaking in a volcanic hot springs for hours at a time. How long until spring? I think I'm going to sneeze. An elephant blows a cloud of fine dry powder over its body. This dust bath helps keep the elephant's skin free of parasites. Dusty Dancing. The jerboa also takes a dust bath. It rids itself of parasites by stamping its oversized feet and stirring up clouds of dust which cling to its fur. The jackrabbit says, It's not as easy as it looks. The jackrabbit likes to keep its long ears clean. Using its back foot, it bends an ear down to its mouth and washes it with its tongue. Don't blink! The gecko doesn't have eyelids. To keep its eyeballs dirt-free, 
the lizard licks them with its long, flexible tongue. Rainy Day Bath The hummingbird takes its bath on a rainy day, perching on a branch and spreading its wings in a downpour. The spoonbill is a messy bather. When it takes a splash bath in a puddle, it flings water all over the place, making a mess. A tomato grouper gets a thorough grooming from a pair of cleaner shrimp. To attract the fish, the shrimp do a special dance on the sea floor. The grouper swims in close and hold still as the shrimp pick off loose scales and parasites. Climb aboard! That tickles. Young white-tailed deer bathe by licking each other clean. How will you get clean when it's time for your next bath? To learn more about the animals in this book, turn the page. Hello, first grade scientists. On the next three pages, there's a lot of information about the animals that we just read about. Enjoy learning more about them 